Christine here and we are back with another video and as you can see by today's title we are talking about fasting. What is fasting, the types of fasts you can do, um, the purpose of fasting and all of that and give you guys some tips and pointers on fasting because it's not easy. <laughs> so what is fasting? It is a spiritual discipline. It's when you're turning away from sin or turning turning away from something that you rely on in a way and you are turning to god instead um most biblical fasts are food like um abstaining from food or water or um meats things like that so the different types of fasts are the daniel fast is one of them i've done that they're usually 21 days but the longest i've ever done a daniel fast was 45 days i believe the first one i did was 15 and then the second one was 45 days no 44 days let me not lie to y'all um that is when you are abstaining from meats dairy um eggs like seafood and you're like eating seeds grains vegetables fruits things like that like whole foods and things like that so me personally um the first daniel fast that i did I just abstained from meat and it was a bit tough because I'm a chicken kind of girly like I love me some chicken or some shrimp stuff like that so that one is definitely not as tough as a um, you know a foodless fast or a liquid fast so let's go on to the next one so another fast are um, like an intermittent fasting if you've ever heard of it uh, it's like fasting for a specific portion of the day for the Lord and dedicating that time to him and then there are dry fasts which are no food and no water and then there are liquid fasts which is just water and then you have the option to add like juice or like smoothies or something like that but whenever I do a liquid fast it's always just straight water no juice no anything now I'm um, I always ask God to lead me to how many days he wants me to fast and what he wants me to fast from um, if you're first starting off I wouldn't suggest like fasting from food like me I did a fast a couple months ago where it was the purpose of it was to hear God's voice and get direction on my purpose and the things he's asked me to place my hands on in my life right um, what I did was I cut out social media secular music movies TVs shows all of that so it was just like silence you know I wasn't hearing the voice of others I wasn't you know listening to this and that I wasn't even listening to sermons guys like I was in my word listening to gospel music and dedicating my days to the Lord and the time that I would spend watching TV or scrolling on my phone I'd be spending with the Lord I'd be getting the things done and being productive so yeah when you think of fasting you, people think of food but it doesn't just always have to be food because the Lord will honor what you do for him like nothing you do for him is in vain so if you know that you are putting this relationship or this specific part of your life above the lord if you feel like you commit a lot of that time to that thing like for me social media um i'm a content creator i spend a lot of my time um not necessarily on social media but i'm in that that mind frame i'm working i'm posting I'm doing all this I'm interacting with other people so sometimes I have to um, take a break and be like okay Lord I'm gonna dedicate this week to you um, I'm seeking you for a redirection I'm seeking you to strengthen my spirit to heal me okay and a lot of the times when we are doing those things for the Lord we have to truly understand it's not just physical but it's also spiritually like what you're doing for him like yeah you're you're abstaining from social media and tv shows and things like that but the spiritual aspect is you're closing your ears your spiritual ears to the the whispers or the manipulations of the enemy or any influence that you may have gotten from those things because social media is very influential on your emotions on your mind um on your perspective so it's like when you shut the door to those things you're turning to god and you're opening the door to him to influence you instead 
So the some ways you might may want to begin fasting is for direction. A lot of the times when we are in between a decision or we're feeling um, places of confusion or um, for example, if someone new is entering your life, you may want to fast on it. You may want to fast on that opportunity or this decision before you make this decision because you want to make sure that this is what the Lord wants you to do. Because we cannot rely on our own emotions. We cannot rely on our own wisdom. We cannot rely on our own logic to direct us because you wouldn't be relying on God. You'd be relying on yourself. And all in all, you don't know everything as God does. You don't know the the full extent to what God is doing in your life. So. Healing, okay? Healing. This can be um, healing wounds, like physical healing, or this can be healing from within, like healing in your mind, in your heart, you know? If you're struggling with trust, you're struggling with rejection, you're struggling with certain things. We can fast for wisdom and understanding, kind of like direction, but it's just like, you know, Lord, I, I need help understanding. I need wisdom on this decision to make. I need wisdom on my business. I need wisdom on, you know, I need wisdom and understanding on what to do right now and exactly where to go. So a lot of times, it doesn't have to be a long fast. It depends on what you're fasting for. But like I said, let it be led by the Lord. You pray to him and ask him what he wants you to do and he will guide you. I can guarantee you that. Like I said, fasting is very important because it shows your dedication to the Lord. Um, you know, it shows that you are willing to give up something for the Lord. Another one is purification. Um, asking God to purify your heart or purify your mind, your environment, your body, things like that. Because purifying means to be made clean, okay, to be made whole again, technically. And I would do purification fast when I feel like I have distant my, distanced myself from the Lord. If I feel like I have been losing connection or something doesn't feel right in my spirit, you want to make sure that you are, yes, you're in his will and you are listening and you are in tune with the Holy Spirit, but you're also want to make sure that your relationship with God is upon a foundation and it's like you have to continue to check that foundation you have to continue to um you know make sure that that foundation can support the things that you're going through so it's like sometimes you have to breathe you have to sit sit the race out and sit with God and allow him to pour into you and purify your heart and realign your heart and purge you of the things that have been holding you back in that season or purge you of that fear purge you of those um those thoughts those actions those habits okay and with fasting god performs miracles within you and after the fast it helps you gain more clarity on what to do where to go and it really reignites that fire within you for god and to do his will all right, so we're gonna move on into the last topic, tips for fasting. So let's talk about, you know, um, concerning food first, okay? So me, when I do water fast, I make sure that I keep myself busy, okay? I will plan my days because if you just sit there not doing nothing, you're gonna be hungry. And you're gonna be thinking about everything that you want to eat that you can't eat at that time. And for me, it even it happens anyway because it's like when you don't when you go a while without eating it's like your body craves certain things and you're like oh i want this so oh, this sounds good da, 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 da. it do be sounding good at the time friend but don't do it okay so be sure to plan your days make sure that you're doing something make sure that you are being active you don't have to necessarily work out but you know take a walk do do bible study watch sermons make sure that you're you're praying as well within your fast make sure that you are going in a direction and you don't just fast just to say you did it but you're fasting with intention your prayer the prayers that you pray while you fast is with intention okay you are taking notes, you're journaling to him, you're talking to him, you're like, how are you feeling and things like that, you know, because when you when you make that initial step to fast and then you begin that fast, you need to make sure that you're talking to God about what you're feeling, about the purpose of the fast, you're asking him for help, for healing, whatever you need. 
because he will honor your requests. Tip number two, it's about after your fast, dealing with the food still. Make sure that you slowly get back onto um, food. So try breaking your fast with fruit or something. I wouldn't say break your fast with a whole meal. Um, for me personally, that doesn't sit well with my stomach and my stomach be like tore up, y'all. I remember one time I did a three day dry, a three day water fast with my brother. We didn't eat for three days straight, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh y'all, I went and ate a burger from Five Guys. Who told me to do that? Like I was just being big eyed. And when I tell you my stomach was tore up because the grease and like, that's not the first thing you want to eat after you're done fasting, okay? So make sure that when you break your fast, you are eating something light and easing into it. And please, please, please stay hydrated during your fast as well. Hydration is very, very important. I wouldn't suggest taking vitamins or anything like that because I don't know, I don't like taking vitamins on an empty stomach and yeah. So it does happen. Let's talk about mistakes, accidentally eating something. I was fasting on Sunday and I was making me a salad when um to break my fast. I was chopping up the cucumbers and my friend so wrong because he didn't even tell me we was on the phone. He didn't even tell me, he just looking. And I started eating the cucumber guys. And then I was like, oh my gosh, because I was too much into the conversation with my mom and my sister-in-law and I didn't realize I was eating. <laughs> So with the first thing I did, I put it down and I prayed and I asked God to forgive me. But I didn't break my fast. I, it was two hours before my fast broke. I still continued until that 6 p.m. cutoff time because, you know, mistakes happen and God forgives. But it wasn't intentional. And knowing that you aren't perfect and knowing that God loves you and he honors your commitment and your... Um, your obedience and your willingness you have to believe when you fast you have to believe that god will answer you that god will guide you that he will direct you that he will heal you and all these other things okay because if you don't believe what's the point of even fasting and i'm just keeping it real if you don't believe what's the point of even fasting so that is all for today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything, go ahead and hit me up in the comments down below or click the link to my Instagram in my description and DM me on Instagram. I'm always open to those as well.